Since 2008, an average of 26.4 million people have been displaced every year as a result of disasters such as storms, floods, droughts, wildfires, volcanoes and earthquakes. It is expected that disasters fueled by climate change, environmental degradation, conflicts, population growth and rapid urbanization will cause the displacement of increasingly large numbers of people within and across borders, with all the associated risks to individuals and societies. In 2015, recognizing that change was needed to address the enormous threat to lives and livelihoods posed by disasters, UN member states adopted the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. It is a huge shift in approach from managing crises to managing risk by investing in resilience to crises and promoting sustainable development. The Sendai framework is unique in that it recognizes the contributions that migrants can make through remittances, networks, skills and investments in the design and implementation of disaster risk reduction. IOM supports states to implement the Sendai framework as a core element of its work on crisis prevention. In the lead-up to the Sendai framework, IOM worked with member states and partners to ensure that mobility dimensions were incorporated in the final agreement, thereby highlighting displacement as a principal impact of disasters, but also the value that mobility can bring to strengthening resilience. For example, through traditional migratory routes or evacuations and planned relocations, IOM operates disaster risk reduction projects in 71 countries with a budget of 140 million US dollars. Through these projects, IOM reaches approximately 1.4 million individuals, providing DRR training to 6,400 government officials. Based on its unique expertise in mobility issues, IOM supports a range of DRR activities. These include disaster risk assessments and community-based DRR planning, such as training and awareness raising, structural protection measures, government capacity building, information management, planned relocation, environmental protection and livelihoods diversification. These prevention measures, seeking to completely avoid adverse impacts of hazardous events by incorporating mobility into disaster risk reduction, are complemented by preparedness measures which help governments better respond to crises when they occur. These are things like identifying safe spaces for evacuation, preparing evacuation routes, pre-positioning relief supplies, and building capacity for displacement site management. Given the magnitude and complexity of the problems involved, partnership and multi-stakeholder engagement are essential. IOM has strong DRR partnerships with host governments as well as with international and local NGOs, civil society, academia and the private sector. IOM works closely with the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction as the principal UN partner leading the coordination of disaster reduction activities and with the wider UN system to promote an integrated and coordinated approach in line with the UN Plan of Action on DRR for Resilience. IOM is also a member of the Interagency Capacity for Disaster Reduction Initiative which works towards strengthening countries' capacities to prevent, manage and recover from the impact of disasters. To promote sustainability, IOM supports and builds the capacity of local actors and diaspora groups who will remain engaged long after IOM's support ends. IOM's DRR effort grows year on year to match the increasing risks of disasters and the adverse effects of climate change, helping states and communities reduce their vulnerability to crises by strengthening resilience and promoting the vital benefits and opportunities that managed mobility can bring.